On Queensland's Sunshine Coast, a fresh scar has appeared in the bush. And our guide for the day is an 11 year old boy. And where will the clearing be? Will it be this way or behind it? Yes, yeah, so all in that area over there will be all destroyed. Five hectares of remnant habitat. Spencer Hitchin has a deep knowledge of this landscape and a passion for one of its threatened species, the glossy black cockatoo. I think they're really amazing birds and I've got a really amazing connection with them as well. Spencer has been waging a campaign to stop the clearing of one of the cockatoo's favourite local feeding spots, dragging his parents along with him. And then the ground parrots use all this area here. Yeah, we're struggling, we're finding it really hard. It, it's, you know, it's full on, it overtakes your life, really. Yeah, quite a lot, I mean, he says to me that I'm not doing it anymore, so, yeah. <laughs> How often did she say that? Oh, quite often. <laughs> It's a campaign that has caught the attention of environmentalists around the country. For the glossy black cockatoo in southeastern Queensland, it's very much death by a thousand cuts. We need to hang on to all the good habitat that's left, and this patch seems like a really good patch of habitat for a, a vulnerable listed species. And it comes at a time the federal government is promising to overhaul environmental laws and adopt a new target of zero new extinctions. If we keep doing what we're doing, we'll keep getting the same results. Recent bushfires along the eastern seaboard destroyed much of the glossy black's habitat. The glossy black cockatoo is probably one of the most fussy eaters in all the bird world. They only eat uh, casuarina tree, she oaks, and they'll only feed on the cones. Spencer Hitchin knows which trees to look out for. How can you tell that this is a feed tree for the glossy black? Well, you can see the orts underneath the tree. Right. So and what are orts? Orts are the leftover cones that the glossies have finished feeding on. Also, by the colour, I can tell how long it's been since they were here, so this is about two weeks old. You can tell that by just looking at them. Yeah. Wow. More than 70 known feed trees for the glossy black are on a site where the Uniting Church is building an aged care home and residential village. The Uniting Church's community health arm, Blue Care, has agreed to offset this habitat loss by replanting hundreds of she-oaks nearby. There have been some technical problems planting trees on this old tip site, and negotiations with the local council are continuing. While declining an on-camera interview, Blue Care told 730. Beyond our development approval obligations, we have also supplied thousands of additional she-oak seeds and seedlings to local schools, residents and bush care groups for planting in the Noosa area shows the difference. And the male and the fem female. I mean, the female. Spencer Hitchin is unimpressed. He's raising money for the campaign to save the site by launching a calendar featuring his wildlife photography as well as running an online petition. At the moment I've got 66,000 plus signatures on my petition. 66,000? Yeah, 66,000. The dispute raises questions about the effectiveness of federal legislation to protect threatened species. These small actions by themselves wouldn't trigger the act. However, cumul cumulatively, they are having an impact. And it's not just for glossy black cockatoos, it's for a whole range of threatened species. And although Blue Care secured all its state and federal environmental approvals, it did so before the glossy black was put on the threatened species list last August. There should be the opportunity for the minister to reassess a piece of habitat that's had 
a vulnerable species listed. Oh, look. Back at Sunrise Beach, our guide is briefly distracted in his search for the cockatoo. What? All these little insects. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to get that insect for so long. That's really unusual. We receive a report of black glosses nearby, but it's a false alarm. Yellow tails! Yellow tails down there! Wrong species! But as we're preparing to leave for the day, two of the vulnerable cockatoos appear near the construction site, drinking from a puddle by the road. He's fallen in love with them, our whole family. Fallen in love with them, you can't help but not.